Welcome back to our channel, where we explore the most intriguing and fascinating stories from around the world. Today, we have an exciting topic to discuss, the fate of Japan's floating airport. It's no secret that Japan has always been at the forefront of innovative engineering, and their floating airport is no exception. However, this engineering marvel is now facing a sinking fate, and we're here to uncover the details, so let's dive right into it. Japan's floating airport, officially known as Kansai International Airport, is a remarkable feat of engineering that stands as a testament to the nation's ambition and determination. Located in the Osaka Bay, it was envisioned as a solution to alleviate congestion at the existing airports and accommodate the increasing air traffic in the region. Construction began in the late 1980s, and the airport finally opened its doors to the public in 1994. Kansai International Airport was designed by the renowned architect Renzo Piano, who incorporated several innovative techniques to make it resistant to the challenging environmental conditions of the Bay Area. The airport is built on a man-made island supported by 80,000 steel pilings driven deep into the seabed. The unique design of the airport incorporates a floating runway system that allows it to adjust its height based on the rise and fall of the sea level. This design was implemented to combat the threat of tsunamis and typhoons, which are common in the region. The airport's terminal building, constructed with a steel frame, is supported by earthquake-resistant technologies, ensuring its stability during seismic activities. Additionally, the construction of the airport required massive land reclamation efforts, where millions of cubic meters of earth and sand were dredged from the surrounding areas and used to create the artificial island. This ambitious undertaking was a demonstration of Japan's engineering prowess and determination to overcome geographical limitations. Despite its groundbreaking design, Kansai International Airport has faced numerous challenges throughout its existence. One of the primary concerns has been the gradual sinking of the artificial island due to the subsidence of the seabed. This sinking phenomenon is a result of various factors, including the weight of the airport itself and the excessive extraction of groundwater from the surrounding area. The subsidence issue has led to a continuous sinking of the airport, with reports suggesting that it sinks by a few centimeters each year. This poses a significant challenge as the sinking alters the airport's geometry, affecting the proper alignment of runways and infrastructure. Efforts have been made to counteract this sinking, such as the injection of cement into the seabed to stabilize it. However, the sinking continues to pose a significant threat to the airport's future. Furthermore, the sinking has resulted in additional complications, such as the need for constant adjustments to the airport's infrastructure to maintain safe and efficient operations. Runway slopes have to be regularly monitored and corrected to ensure the safety of aircraft during takeoff and landing. Maintaining the floating airport has been a costly endeavor for Japan. The sinking issue has resulted in additional maintenance expenses, as constant repairs and adjustments are required to ensure the airport's functionality. Moreover, the cost of running the airport and accommodating its infrastructure demands has put a financial strain on the authorities. The high maintenance and operational costs, coupled with the sinking issue, have made it difficult for the airport to generate sustainable revenue. Despite being a critical transportation hub, the airport has struggled to attract a sufficient number of airlines and passengers to remain financially viable. This financial struggle has limited the airport's ability to invest in long-term solutions to counter the sinking problem. To make matters worse, the COVID-19 pandemic further exacerbated the airport's financial challenges as air travel came to a halt, leading to a significant decrease in passenger numbers and revenue. As the sinking fate of Kansai International Airport looms, the Japanese authorities are left with a difficult decision to make. They must assess the feasibility of various options, including relocating the airport to a different location or investing in extensive repairs to stabilize the existing infrastructure. The decision-making process involves evaluating the economic and environmental implications. Relocating the airport would require a substantial investment and planning, including finding a suitable location and building new infrastructure. However, it could potentially offer a fresh start free from the sinking issue and with improved design considerations. On the other hand, repairing the existing infrastructure would require significant financial resources, as well as implementing advanced engineering solutions to stabilize the airport's foundation. 
However, there is no guarantee that the sinking issue can be completely resolved, and the airport may require ongoing maintenance and adjustments. The authorities are also considering the possibility of building a new airport altogether to replace Kansai International Airport. This would involve carefully selecting a location that is less prone to sinking and implementing the lessons learned from the challenges faced by the current airport. The sinking fate of Japan's floating airport not only raises concerns about its operational viability, but also has significant environmental implications. The subsidence of the seabed, due to the airport's weight and groundwater extraction, has disrupted the delicate balance of the ecosystem in the surrounding area. The sinking of the artificial island can lead to changes in water flow patterns affecting marine life and the overall biodiversity of the bay. The alteration of seabed contours can disrupt habitats, impacting the flora and fauna in the area. Additionally, the injection of cement to stabilize the seabed may have unintended consequences on the local environment. The sinking airport also poses challenges for the management of stormwater runoff and the potential for increased coastal erosion. The changing elevation of the airport could affect water drainage systems, leading to flooding or erosion issues during extreme weather events. As the Japanese authorities grapple with the sinking fate of Kansai International Airport, alternative solutions and innovative ideas are being considered to address the challenges. One option being explored is the concept of smart or adaptable infrastructure. This involves integrating sensors and advanced monitoring systems into the airport's design, allowing real-time data collection to adjust and optimize the structure based on environmental conditions. Such adaptive infrastructure could potentially mitigate the sinking issues and enhance the airport's resilience. Another possibility is the implementation of sustainable and eco-friendly measures. For instance, incorporating renewable energy sources, such as solar panels or wind turbines, could reduce the airport's reliance on conventional power sources and lower its carbon footprint. The sinking fate of Japan's floating airport serves as a valuable lesson for future ambitious engineering projects worldwide. It highlights the importance of conducting thorough geological surveys and environmental impact assessments before undertaking large-scale infrastructure ventures. Engineering projects that involve constructing in challenging natural environments must carefully consider long-term stability and sustainability. The experience with the Kansai International Airport underscores the need for ongoing monitoring, maintenance, and flexibility in design to account for potential changes in environmental conditions. Collaboration between engineers, architects, environmental scientists, and stakeholders is crucial for incorporating resilient design principles and ensuring that projects can adapt to evolving circumstances. Japan's floating airport, Kansai International Airport, faces an uncertain future as it grapples with the sinking of its artificial island. The challenges posed by subsidence and the financial burden have put the authorities in a difficult position. The decisions made regarding the airport's fate will shape the future of aviation in the region and have wider implications for engineering projects worldwide. We've explored the design and engineering marvels of Kansai International Airport, the challenges it has faced, and the potential alternatives and lessons for future projects. As the story unfolds, we'll continue to bring you the latest updates on the fate of this iconic airport. Thank you for joining us on this in-depth journey into Japan's floating airport. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay informed about our upcoming videos. Until next time, keep exploring and stay curious.